This is a melancholy time for us, as I'm sure it is for you. I'm sure most of you know that during last night, Fred Allen passed away. It was our thought that tonight we would invite some of Fred's old friends here and we'd talk about Fred, his contributions to American humor and American culture. Or perhaps we would go into the library of film, which we have, excerpt it and tell something of the story of Fred Allen and the great contributions that he made to our industry. Mrs. Allen, the beloved Portland, specifically has asked us not to do that. It was her feeling that if we wished to pay tribute to Fred, the best tribute we could pay him would be to do this program just as if he were here with us. Fred was a professional performer, and he did a great many shows, I'm sure, when he didn't feel like laughing. But he did them, and we're going to try to do them in that same tradition. And so, for Arlene Francis and Steve Allen, an old friend who was kind enough to come and help us tonight, and Dorothy Kilgallen and Bennett Cerf, we are going to do What's My Line the way Fred would have liked to have had it done. Time now for everybody's favorite guessing game, What's My Line? Throughout the world, only one company produces all types of business machines and systems. Remington Rand, who now invites you to play What's My Line? Here's the What's My Line panel, and their moderator, John Daly. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. I'm sure everyone knows how we played the game, and so may we now have our first contestant, please. Will you sign in? Jacques? Jacques Plant, is this a tea, sir? <laughs> And uh, where are you from, Mr. Plant? Montreal, Canada. Montreal, Canada. Well, it's nice to have one of our neighbors from across the border here. We like to give the panel a little opportunity to get to know each other. So would you be good enough to take a small walk down there for me? What? Hello. Hello. All right, Mr. Plant, over here and sit down next to me, if you will. And my first ask you is, do you know how we score this game? Well, I've, I've seen this show once in... Uh... In Canada? Yeah, I saw it, yeah. All right, fine. All you have to do, if you can do it properly, is say no and I'll flip a card. Ten no's and you've won the game. All right, now let's let the folks at home and our friends here in the theater know exactly what your line is. All right. Panel, I will give you some help. Mr. Plant is salaried. With that, let's begin the general questioning with Dorothy Kilgallen. Do you work for a profit-making organization, Mr. Plant? Yes. Is there a product involved in what you do? Nope. No, actually, Mr. Plant deals in a the service. There are, of course, as in all cases, tangible objects which are a part of the application of the service, but we do not, in our nomenclature at least, hold them to be products. So that would make it one down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Plant, the uh, hockey team representing Montreal is down here this week. Have you any connection, whatever, with the Canadian? Yep. You have. Uh, I have to find out what it is. Hmm? Yes. Uh, my, a good start, then. My son, Chris, would know your name, I'll bet, because he listens to those Would you games. like us to let you have about two minutes out? You go home and call your son. Yes, I wish I had time to call. Oh, we can't do that, man. Mr. Plant, are you on the active roster of the Canadian yep. hockey team? Are you one of the players on the team? Yep. Did you play in the game at the Garden of Night? Yep. Well, what more must I say? Well, where does he play on the team, Bennett? Uh, you're not the goalie, are you? Yep. <laughs> I never saw a qualifying phrase save a man's skull so completely. You're not the goalie, are you? Just in time. Not only is Mr. Plant the goalie, but uh, he just won the Vizina Trophy, isn't that it, sir? Yes, yeah, Today? It. And uh, that's for being the year's most outstanding goalie in the National Hockey League. 
I hope he makes more money as a goalie than he made tonight on What's My Line. <laughs> oh, my God. That's, what was the final score tonight, much. Mr. Plant? It was 3 nothing when I, last I heard. Well, well they scored a goal with a uh, minute and a half to go. You let them have a go. Well, see, this year I had seven shutouts and 25 games with one goal. So, actually, uh, I don't mind that goal tonight mm -hmm. to make it uh, an even 25. Well, that's very <laughs> big of you, Mr. Plant. Actually, I think it was very generous of you to give them a, at least a look in so that they could feel they were part of the game. Well, Mr. Plant, Jacques, if I may, I'm sorry we didn't give them a rougher time of it. I think you had a very interesting occupation, but that Bennett surf reads too many newspapers. <laughs> Thank you very much for being our guest. It was nice to have you with us on What's My Life. Good night. Thank you. I can only describe that as a brilliant beginning panel, but let's see what you can do with another challenger. Will you come in and sign in, please, ma'am? Mrs. Jules. <laughs> Mrs. Jules Lederer, is that right? <laughs> a very firm and a very clear handwriting, and I'm sure that's going to reveal a great deal to the panel. Where are you from, Mrs. Lederer? Chicago. Chicago? Yes. Oh, well, that's one of our favorite towns, Chicago. How did you get here? Did you come on snowshoes tonight? I flew. You flew. I... That's the safest way to do it. Well, tell you once again, as you probably know, we like to give the panel a little bit of help. Would you be good enough to take a walk in front of the panel so they may have a closer look at you? Hello, Mrs. Letterer. All right, Mrs. Letterer, over here, if you will, and sit down next to me, and I would ask you too. Are you familiar with our scoring system? Yes, sir. Fine. If you know what the scoring system is all about, we'll let the people at home and those here with us know exactly what your line is. Panel, Mrs. Lederer is salaried. And let's begin the general questioning with our old sidekick, Steve Allen. Uh, I agreed with your observation, John, that Mrs. Lederer had a very firm handshake. Is there anything at all physical about what you do? I mean, uh, above and beyond. <laughs> no. You mean, in the sense, is there a, a laying on of hands or an exercise or of a, muscular it, strength or yes. dexterity? I think in that context, actually, Steve, to be completely fair with you, we'll give you a no. Okay. <laughs> Fine. That's one down no. and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, Mrs. Letterer, do you have something other than an office job? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, does your attractive appearance uh, help you in your work? No. I wouldn't think so. No. Not actually, not in the execution of the work. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. Mrs. Larry, do you perform a service of some kind? Yes. Is there a product involved in the service? Um, no, I don't believe so. No, I don't think so. Not in our terms of reference, Bennett. We couldn't call it a product. That's three down and seven to go, uh, Miss Francis. I'm terribly sorry. I miss whether Mrs. Letter was salaried or... Mrs. Letter yes. is salaried. You mm -hmm. are salaried. And you work for a profit-making organization? Yes. Uh, do you deal uh, directly with people? No. Well, I've got to have a conference this uh, moment. No. <coughs> no. It's very quiet. <laughs> She's dealing directly with John. <laughs> well, I tell you, I don't think we can uh, <clears throat> give you... Uh, yeah, that's right. That's four down and six to go, Mr. Allen. The question was, do you deal directly with people? I think we would have to give you no. Mm -hmm. Is any special training or education uh, required for your job? Yes. Yeah, it's a I, difficult question. I would um, say this, if Mrs. Letter would excuse me, you would need, I think, a degree of education and also a degree of training in a certain area to be proficient at what Mrs. Letter does. Mm -hmm. Is it uh, something that would be described as brain work? Yes. <laughs> I wish I could do some at this time. But I uh, do you work with a pencil in your hand? Sometimes. Do you have any power over people? I mean, to make them happy or prevent them from working or getting money or anything of that sort? Power? 
Well, I wouldn't say... I would say this, Miss Letter, if you would agree, uh, we would have to agree that uh, there is a relationship in one of the contexts which you set down that uh, I think is reasonable and viable. I think Mrs. Letter might have some degree of influence on the well-being, dexterity, financial something or the other, don't you think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was just heading for the word financial before you said it, John. Don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and now on to Dorothy Kilgallen. <laughs> don't, huh? Well, that throws me there for about three questions back. Um... I believe I might as well pass, since my line of thought did have to do with finances, and as you say... All righty. Miss Kilgallen. Do you work in an enclosure, Mrs. Lederer? I could. Could you do whatever it is you do to Bennett and Steve? Oh, yes. <laughs> and you will both come to regret that emphasis. <laughs> Would you ever talk to them in the course of doing it? I'm sorry, I didn't hear Would that. Would you ever talk to them? She doesn't no. deal with people. No. no. Wouldn't talk to them. That's five down and five to go, yes. Mr. Sir. Well, Mrs. Lider, if you wouldn't talk to us and you could do something for Steve and me, does that mean that you Not would... Not for you, to you. To you. Would oh. that mean that you would write to us? <laughs> oh, I may. Is writing any part of your occupation? Yes. You're a writer. Well? We've never had a writer look like you at Random House. <laughs> <laughs> Do you write for some uh, professional uh, outlet, such as books, magazines, or newspapers? Yes. And you can do things to Steve and me. I could. <laughs> <laughs> Two or four, actually. I mean, there's a service here that could be rendered to the both of you, yes. Under certain circumstances. Do you, uh, I've got the thing, uh, can we have a 10 seconds? You may have yeah. 15 seconds for a comment. Can you write some kind of a column? Advice to the loved one. Advice to the loved one. Is that right? Anyway, don't you think? I'll, t I'll take the uh, weenie that... Uh, what is your... Do you write some kind of a column? Uh, yes. Le answer letters? Yes. Uh, is it people writing you for advice on yes. a specific thing? Yes. Is it l'amour? Oftentimes. Yeah. Well, it, is that the kind of column you do? Advice to the loved ones. That's yeah. right. Then. <laughs> Mrs. Lederer actually writes the love lawn column for the Chicago Sun Times Syndicate. That's, right. I have right. an old colleague out there, Thomas Fox Reynolds. Do you yes, know Tom yes, Reynolds? Yes, yes. We used to work mm -hmm. together in Washington. How and about I... the love lawn in Chicago? <laughs> the love lawn in Chicago are not... Suffering. Are suffering. they suffering? Oh, they're suffering. <laughs> <laughs> I must, if I may, share something with you. Uh, Mrs. Letterer got a letter from a Mrs. G.K. who complained that her husband, a, quote, glob, end quote, often disagreed with her college-trained views. And Mrs. Letterer wrote back, stop throwing his lack of education in his teeth. There are plenty of educated fools around. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Mrs. Letterer has asked that we give her winnings to the Hart Fund in memory of Fred, so we flip all the cards over and thank you very much for being our guest. Lovely having you here. Now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity for which my friends on the panel are blindfolded, as I think you know, and the blindfolds are all in place, are they, panel? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? As you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, we go to a different form of questioning. You ask one question at a time in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin it with Bennett, sir. Well, those whistles usually mean a beautiful girl. Uh, would you answer the description of a beautiful girl? Yes, sir. <coughs> Pardon me. Was that the mystery <laughs> chest? <laughs> the answer is yes. Miss Francis? Uh, are you a performer? Yes. Mr. Allen? Is your busiest field that of motion pictures? Yes. Ms. Kilgallen? Do you do anything in addition to acting, such as singing or dancing? Yes. Mr. Sir? Are you uh, 
starring in a picture that is uh, presently playing on, in the Broadway sector? Yes. Miss Francis? Is it a musical picture? Yes. Are you a blonde? No. Are Ray you... for Steve Allen, I always say. One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, are you married to a professional? Show business, I mean? Yes. Mr. Sir? Well, I think Dorothy has spotted it. Uh, do you do a series of spectacular dances and meet me in Las Vegas? Yes. <laughs> you said Sharif. Sid Sharif is right. Sheriff, Wasn't this tough? Actually, this time we tried a new technique. We asked uh, Miss Sheriff not to change her voice in any way. We thought this would throw you off and confuse you. It didn't give you much confusion. I must say, to answer your question, Bennett, the first one you posed, that I saw Mrs. Martin actually as a friar's thing this week. And this is one young lady in the movies that doesn't need any makeup at all, any time ever. Oh, She's a gloriously you. beautiful young lady. Thank and we you. thank you very much for coming to see us. We know that uh, you had some question whether you should be here tonight, and all I can say is we think you're a good trooper to have joined us. Thanks Thank a lot so for much, coming. Sir. Nice to see you. <laughs> Been awfully good so far tonight, but I think this time we might be able to trip them up. Let's see what we can do with another challenger. Will you please come in and sign in? Sign in right there, please. <laughs> Chico Akishiosi, I know, is that right? <laughs> Akiyoshi? It is Akiyoshi? I was right? Well, congratulate you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you want, would you like this piece, Duke? I have it. Now, Miss Akiyoshi is a little bit nervous, but don't worry, but would you tell us where you're from? Tokyo. From Tokyo. Fine. Well, it's nice to have you here with us. You've come a long way. I hate to ask you to take another journey, so I won't. You come with me, if you will. You'll sit right down here. I will tell you how we score the program. The panel will ask you a series of questions, and if you can give them properly a no answer, I'll flip a card. When we flip ten cards, you've won the game. All set? Fine. Then let's let the people at home and those with us here know exactly what your line is. Miss Akiyoshi is salaried. With that, let's begin the general questioning with Arlene Francis. Miss Akiyoshi? Um, <laughs> hello. <laughs> I suppose you know that Miss Arlene was visiting in your country not too long ago. So she was in Tokyo. She didn't know that. I was there, but you weren't there. In Tokyo. Uh, do you speak English a little bit, Miss Akiyoshi? Just a little. Just a little bit? Yeah. Are you a student of any kind? Yes. Small conference. Miss <laughs> 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 Francis, you may proceed. <coughs> <laughs> She's a student, and she just learned something from you, huh, John? That's right. <laughs> Are you studying something here in America? Yes. Would you in any way be considered an exchange student? No. No, I wouldn't think no. no you mean, did Miss Akiyoshi come here when you went to Japan? <laughs> no. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Allen. Uh, John, Miss Akiyoshi is very pretty. Does that have anything whatever to do with her profession? Uh, no, I will say, Steve, and I can't think that um, you would be but the first to agree with me in this matter. This is always helpful, but it isn't necessary to this occupation. So you get a no answer there. Two down and eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Well, Miss Akiyoshi, do you have anything to do with any of the arts? <laughs> Yes. Uh, is it one of the lively arts? 
<laughs> Would you like to name the lively art? No, I certainly wouldn't. Not, not all. Of them. <laughs> I had in mind, I had in mind uh, ballet, acting, dancing, anything of that nature. Well, I think we'd have Painting to give you sculpting. yes. All right. Uh, do you move about in your work? Yes. Do you wear? Wait a <laughs> Akiyoshi is being a little too fair with you. We presume that you mean move from place to place. Is that right? Oh, no. <laughs> well, I don't mean from city to city, Oh, Charles. no, but I mean from one place to another within or the confines. Or not even from room to room, but just move about in one area. Oh, I see. You mean on a stage, moving about on a stage itself, for instance, or in a podium or a ring or something yes, like that. Yes, like on a podium. All right, that's fine. That's no. That's three down. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Akiyoshi, would you have anything whatever to do with the circus that's coming to town? <laughs> no. No. no, that's four down and six to go, Miss Fred. Miss Akiyoshi, do you paint? No. That makes it five down and five to go, Mr. Allen. It has been established, however, has it not, by Dorothy, that there is a connection with one of the lively arts. A still lively art. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Would you like to she might be a model. I'd like a yes. Yeah, I, the same thing occurred to me. But she's a student. What would a model said study? You didn't have to be pretty to do what she does. <laughs> Would you all like you to have, have a conference? To be to be We're having one. We're having one. You don't have to be pretty to be a model. Sometimes you just have to be interesting looking. I'm not telling well, you, but depends on what you're modeling for, you know. <laughs> I was thinking for artists, but don't, yeah. you know, But then she'd I'm be wrong. studying. What would yes. she be studying? She might be studying literature and posing for her tuition, but... <laughs> All right, now the conference is over, Steve yes. <laughs> Have you anything to do with music? Yes. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I mean, I have to go on with this questioning. Then. Do you uh, play an instrument? Yes. A Thank Japanese you. instrument? No. No, that's six no. down and four to go, Miss Gilgallan. Is it a, an instrument that would be found in an Occidental orchestra? Yes. Purely Occidental. <laughs> Is it, would it be found in a jazz orchestra? Yes. Are you a jazz musician? Yes. Do I have to find out the instrument? Mm-hmm. Doodly-doo. Uh, is it anything that you hold in your hands? This would be rough to hold in your hands, Dorothy. I'm going to have to throw the cards. I think you have it, but we're running out of time. Actually, Miss Akiyoshi is a jazz pianist. She's a piano player. And is currently, you correct me, you're going to the Berkeley School of Music in Boston, aren't you? Is she studying comp composition and et cetera? I invite her here by John to be on my show any night she's available. There's wonderful. Steve Allen would like you to be on his program. And you did very well on ours, and thank you very much for being a wonderfully interesting guest, and it's nice to have you with us. Bye-bye. We'll be back in just a moment, but first, here is a word from our sponsor. Until next week, this is John Daly saying good night, Miss Arlene. John. Uh, at this point, I would just like to express a feeling that I feel sure must be shared by millions of Americans. Fred Allen was not only a great talent, but a great gentleman, and he shall be sorely missed. Good night, Fred. Steve? Just a few months ago, sitting in this chair, I believe, Fred read a postcard viewer had sent to What's My Line asking, is Fred Allen Steve Allen's father? And Fred laughed at it. The answer, of course, was no. Last night, when I heard the sad news, I couldn't have been any more depressed if the answer had been yes. Dorothy? Thank you, Steve, and uh, thank you for being here. I think your being here has helped all of us to carry on. Bennett? The half hours that I spent with Fred Allen in the dressing room before What's My Line every Sunday night meant a great deal to me. Goodbye, Fred. Like so many others who loved and appreciated you, I'll never forget you. John.
And Mrs. Allen, we hope that this is a what's my line that Steve would have, or rather Fred would have liked very much. We tried to make it that way. Good night, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for being with us on What's My Line.